Cassandra says, I have anxiety and depression. It is very difficult for me to pray and fast. Is it okay if I don't pray and fast? Will Allah forgive me? Well, Cassandra, you are one of two people. Either you are mentally sane and sound. So you have your own choices. You know what you're doing and you know the consequences of them. You don't rob, you don't kill people, you don't harm them because you know what will happen to you. You don't want to go to jail. You never cross a red light signal because you know that you're going to be pay a lot of money in fines. So you are a sane person. You have anxieties. You have mild or severe depression, but you're still sane. If you don't pray, you're considered to be a kafir and you'll go to hell forever. Those who do not pray at all are not labeled and considered as Muslims. So it's very difficult. You have to be careful. But if you are classified by psychiatrists to be insane, and you have reports to prove that you are not accountable for your actions or your decisions and choices, in this case, it is up to Allah Azza wa Jal to judge you. Because this is only Allah's, in only, it's only in Allah's hands to determine. From your email, from your question, you sound to me like a normal person, writing perfectly good English, not confused, not having any problems, but it seems to me that you have whispers of shaitan overwhelming you and trying to convince you not to pray and not to fast so that you would improve, not knowing, that is you, that whenever you do not pray or fast, you'll deteriorate faster and faster, and this would cause you more harm. May Allah protect you.